decades of unsustainable consumption and production have caused a triple planetary crisis. Plastic waste has become one of the most pressing threats to our planet, delaying progress towards achieving sustainable development. From 2.3 million tons in 1950, plastic production has increased to 448 million tons in 2015. The Philippines generates 2.7 million tons of plastic waste annually. The complex waste challenge is a result of a linear economic model. The Extended Producer Responsibility Act of 2022 helps address the issue of plastic pollution and enable the shift towards a circular economy. What is the Extended Producer Responsibility Act? The Extended Producer Responsibility Act of 2022 or Republic Act No. 11898 mandates obliged enterprises to be environmentally responsible for the entire life cycle of a product, from manufacturing to consumer use and up until the product's end of life. Before, manufacturers were only liable for the environmental impact of the actual production of their products. But with the new law, obliged enterprises are now required to recover or remove an equivalent amount of the plastic product footprint they have created. Who are the obliged enterprises? These are the large enterprises with total assets over 100 million pesos. They are the brand owners who sell or supply any commodity under a brand, label, or identity using a product they produce or a material supplied to them by another manufacturer or supplier. They are the product manufacturers or importers who supply their commodities for the use of the general consumer or distribute the same material products of a brand owner. Micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises are not required under the law, but they are highly encouraged to practice EPR voluntarily or be part of the networks practicing EPR. However, MSMEs with a total value of assets of all enterprises carrying the same brand, label, or trademark that exceeds that of medium enterprises, as prescribed by Republic Act No. 9501, are also mandated to comply. To further understand, the EPR law covers plastic packaging that is used to carry, protect, or pack goods for transportation, distribution, or sale. This includes sachets, labels, laminates, single-layer or multi-layered plastic with other materials, rigid plastic items, plastic bags, and polystyrene. The obliged enterprises must establish their EPR programs. EPR programs include the following. Reduction of non-environment-friendly plastic packaging products, such as adoption of reusable products, redesigning of the products to improve its reusability, inclusion of recycled content, and adoption of appropriate product refilling systems for retailers. Conducting recovery schemes like redemption, buybacks, or other strategies that result in high collection and recycling rates. Recycling and other sustainable methods. Moving plastic waste to appropriate disposal or processing sites in the country. Setting up commercial or industrial scale recycling, composting, thermal treatment, and other waste diversion or disposal facilities. Cleanup activities in coastal areas, public roads, and other territories. And partnering with the local government, communities, and the informal waste sector to recover plastic waste. These programs can be done individually, collectively, or through a producer responsibility organization or PRO. All of these must also be submitted to the National Solid Waste Management Commission through the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. Noncompliance with the law will result in fines. Through EPR programs, the compliant companies are also incentivized while helping advance the circular economy, reducing greenhouse gases and preventing more waste leak into our bodies of water. 
This landmark legislation paves the way for the Philippines in bolstering its effort to shift from a linear to circular economy, creating more green jobs and promoting sustainable business practices. Moving towards a truly circular economy requires a whole of society and whole of government approach where all sectors, public, private, and civil society all work hand in hand to play their part. It's time to break the take-make-waste system. Join us to loop forward.